Hello, my friends. Let's do a little meditation to evoke a real sense of indivisibility within your own experience. The concept of non-duality in terms of the experience that all perception, all experience, everything, even things you call things, things that you think are, are out there, the mountains, the trees, and the objects, and the people, but also thoughts and emotions, basically anything, everything is mind or consciousness or I amness. And it's one thing to know this and to contemplate it and to conceptualize it, which is already beneficial. But what if through some practice, you can actually experience that that mountain is your mind that this chair is your mind, that my voice speaking is your mind, is your consciousness. Wouldn't that be great? And so take a deep breath. Relax your body and your mind. Take another deep breath. Relax your body and your mind and also relax your perception your attention off of the world for a bit. Just let it kind of dwell in its natural place of here and now. Not going anywhere, not grasping for anything. Take another deep breath. And relax even more. Not seeking for anything for just a moment. Now, there's some sounds over where I'm at. There's some, uh, some doves, some frogs, some birds chirping, some cars in the distance. So in your own experience, in your own environment, right now with your eyes closed to start with, just observe the sounds for a moment. Just note them, notice them. Look for the subtler sounds in your environment. Things that maybe don't pop out so much, but that are part of the orchestra, the background, the substratum of sound. Almost like sound, like every little individuated point of sound in your experience is part of one tapestry, one orchestra, one substratum, one field, one harmony. This can already increase that sense of oneness or indivisibility but we're gonna take it deeper, more direct. So now as you let those sounds be exactly as they are, don't label them, just let them be the experience of sound. Don't even label it sound, but I have to use some words here, but let it be the experience that it is. And as you listen, again with your eyes closed for now, but as you listen, To the sounds, there might be images in your mind. So if you hear a bird, you might picture a bird. You might see kind of where it is in your environment. So the visual element of your imagination is part of your tapestry, part of the orchestra of your perception right now. So the sounds and the visuals are kind of attached almost. They're enmeshed or blended together. And just let it be as it is, no label. And again, this might already increase the oneness of perception, but we're gonna take it more direct. So now, as you're peacefully resting with your experience exactly as it is, letting your perception be part of this canvas or this dreamscape, already knowing intellectually somehow that all is part of one field, one mind, knowing it intellectually. But now, as you let all the sounds and the visuals and sensations be as they are in their own natural place of arising and disappearing, arising and disappearing. Focus your attention on the following gentle inquiry. Can you see, can you first of all get a sense of your mind? Almost like a sphere. You, that's, it's okay to visualize it as a sphere, to kind of feel it as, as a sphere or, or even a circle if you want to do it two-dimensionally. But it's your sense, whatever your sense is right now of your mind, not so much the thinking mind, 
but the space of mind, the mind as in the cognizer, the recognizer, the consciousness, the mind which observes the sounds, the mind which knows the sounds, the mind which hears the sounds, the mind which sees the visual imagery, the mind which knows. Another word for this could be the sphere of experiencing or the experiencer. And see if you can take your attention off of the sounds and the visuals and place it more closely towards the mind itself and seeing how the sounds and the visuals and the sensations are all connected in the mind. How actually what you think, what you imagine, what you presume is out there, what you project as a sound over there, outside of your body, is actually encountered inside the mind. It actually meets in mind. See if you can find that even the things that seem to be out there are being experienced right here in the mind. See if the sensations of your own body, instead of projecting them away into the legs or the feet or the bum, see if you can see that even the sensation of your foot, which is a little bit away from your mind, as you typically consider your mind to be in the, in the head, but see if the sensation in your foot, for instance, and the sound of a bird in the distance and a picture of the world out there, can you see how all of those are equally happening inside the mind? How it's all coming together in the mind. All perception has its meeting point in the mind. So actually the sound over there, the mountain in the distance, the sky, the sun, my voice, all of it is happening as the mind in the mind. It's all meeting in mind or consciousness, whatever word you prefer. But find that sense. First of all, become aware of the mind, the cognizing observer. And then see that all things, no matter what they are, all experiences are only known in the location, so to speak, of the mind. They all come together in the mind. So it might seem the illusion, the projection, the presumption, the imagination, the label that we've given the world is that it's out there. But if you look at the mind itself as the observer of all perceptions, of all phenomena, you can see that all of it is happening in a single mind or consciousness. It's all happening in the observer. And just rest with that sensation. It's a intuitive, higher sensation. It's a spiritual sensation of oneness where all the senses in a way come together. The senses and the mind blend and you realize that the world, the senses and the mind are all happening in that mind space, in that consciousness. So see, if you can get a sensation, a sense, an intuition that the sounds in the distance are happening right here in the receiver of the sounds focus on the receiver of the sounds, the mind which cognizes the sounds, and the images, and see that all the experiences that you're having are mind, 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 or consciousness, 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 the observer, the observer, the observer. If you practice this daily for a little while, you will get a tangible you'll develop a tangible spiritual sensation of indivisibility, of oneness, of unity. And it will give you a sense of freedom, a knowingness of your power. It's also what unleashes, opens the heart, unleashes a sense of love. Beyond just, I'm a loving giver to someone else. It's a non-dual love. It's the love that comes from oneness. The deeper you practice this, the harder it is to believe in and produce the sensation of separation. But even when you do, just bring your attention back 
to mind and see that even a sensation of mind, sorry, the sensation of separation is just a perception that's also one with the mind, one with the tapestry of perception. And so emptiness, the emptiness which is mind essence, is the form of perceptions. And the forms of perceptions are the empty essence of mind or consciousness. So all things exist in your beingness. There's no experience apart from being it. Play with this. I hope it helps you. Much love.